think the one element in the car chase that Chris Corwell just told me he absolutely couldn't do for real because of the logistics of the lower Wacker location was the Batmobile going head on into the, the garbage truck, which we wanted to do in a very straightforward manner and I wanted it to feel very real, very gritty. But Nick Davis and his guys were able to do this with miniatures. And from the first movie, we had a one-third scale remote control tumbler, and we had all of the molds. So this time we used a company in Los Angeles, uh, New Deal Studios, to build us some new one-third scale tumblers, and also build us a one-third scale garbage truck. And they built this on a 140-foot long stretch of one-third scale miniature little like set. And underneath it was a rod system, which basically enabled us to travel the garbage truck and the tumbler in, in exact speeds that we could predetermine down the length of the set and then we could smash together. At the same time, we also wanted our taking cameras to match the way that we'd shot um, a lot of the car chase. And they photographed it with the same exposures we'd had down below, which is slightly underexposed because we were having to use available light on the real location. So rather than overlighting the model, they actually really matched uh, and the way in which we shot the sequence by pushing the film a stop and uh, very slightly underexposing the film. I think they were able to get something that, that cuts in very, very well with the, the full-scale footage.